Well, today I'm not going to be Scott Souter. I'm going to be Dennis Michaels, who happens to be the CEO of Greenwell. And when I go open my mail, my inbox pretty much looks like this, probably looks familiar to you, message after message after message. Now, however, when I go click on show, I see two new options, group by date and beginning of message. When I turn on group by date, all of a sudden my inbox looks a little more manageable. I see my messages grouped into sections by today, last week, month, etc. And when I go click on show beginning of message, you'll notice that some gray text starts to filter into the view. And if I hover over a particular message, you'll notice that, in fact, that particular message shows me the first 100 characters of the body of the message in sort of a preview format. So it looks like I've just received an email message from Frank Adams. Frank Adams happens to be one of our sales managers here at Greenwell. So let's go see what he needs. If I hover over Frank's name, you'll notice that his business card pops up. And if I hover over the business card, you'll notice that his microblog pops up. In this case, his microblog is an indicator of what he happens to be working on right now. We've also used the business card to expose additional socially integrated capabilities that are part of the product in Nino. And then if we go up to his name and actually right click on his name, you'll see some additional social integration opportunities even here. Collaboration history, for example, if I wanted to see how Frank and I have worked together in the past, or perhaps I wanted to find an available time in which he and I could actually sit down for a meeting. What I want to do, however, is click on the invite to my network option. And in this case, I'm going to send him an invitation and he'll be invited to my connections network. Just as simple as that. Opening Frank's email message, I see that he's trying to tell me about the location of an upcoming product launch event. What's interesting, though, is the text under which this blue line appears is known as live text, and it now works just as beautifully in iNotes as it does in Notes. Here's an example. If I hover right here, I get the option to click on Google Maps to actually resolve that address. That's live text. What's more, since we use embedded same time here at Greenwell, which, by the way, has been upgraded to release 8.5.2 IFR1 in 9.0, live text now provides additional actions to call phone numbers and to start chats with people's names that live text actually recognizes. I mentioned network a bit earlier, but in reality, my network is my activity stream or my business stream. It's that information that's constantly flowing in and out of connections that I care about. Well, again, IBM to the rescue because right here, right on the updates tab that I can select by clicking on one of the new shortcut icons is a way for me to keep up with my internal network, uh, the people that I care about, the projects that I'm monitoring, all right here, all right within the context of the updates tab within the notes client. And by the way, those shortcut icons that I mentioned, they're customizable by my company administrator and they go with me no matter where I go inside of notes. All right, back to Frank's message. I'm going to reply, but I'm also going to include a couple of other people on my response. And I'll include those people by simply dragging an individual or a group name from my embedded same time buddy list. And then I'll also attach a file, only instead of attaching a file, I'm going to send a connections files link right from my sidebar in notes. So what you're seeing in this next example is one of the very important and powerful enhancements in 9.0. It's the notion of the embedded experience, which is really what puts the power of social in Notes and iNotes Social Edition. Embedded experiences allow application developers to actually embed their content from applications inside of OpenSocial 2.0 containers, like a gadget or a simple web page. Then containers and gadgets that support embedded content can choose to render that content as what we call an embedded experience, which is what you're looking at here in the email message from Frank. Frank has chosen to send me a file. Well, I don't have to leave the context of my inbox in order to go take action on that file. I can preview it here, certainly. I could actually download the file if I wanted to. I can indicate that I actually like the file. I might choose to make a comment on the file, something like, I like the file, Frank. Post that, Frank would see my comment, so would anybody else that Frank might have shared the file with. I might choose to follow the file in case Frank makes changes to the file uh, on a subsequent date. I might choose to share the file with my team members. 
And just as if I were in Connections Files, I can choose to share it with Samantha right here, right in the context of my inbox, without actually having to leave to take action on that particular email message. Powerful stuff, embedded experiences. Another hugely powerful concept in 9.0 is quick find. Let me show you. I recall that Jasmine sent me something to review and approve, but I can't find it in my inbox anymore. Mm -hmm. Quick find allows me to simply start typing whatever I'm looking for. And in this case, I'm going to look for the letters or the character string travel approval. I have no idea what column that is in. Click on find and boom, up pops the first occurrence of the words travel approval and I've found what I'm looking for. The result, I never lose stuff anymore, and Quick Find works for me in any view in notes, whether it's in a team room, a calendar, my inbox, or wherever.